Hey guys, here today we got a 2015 Chevy Equinox we're working on. Problem with this one is we got fuel leaking out of it. Customers complaining about smelling fuel coming out of the engine. And uh, this one has two fuel pumps. It's got one in the tank and it's got one in the engine bay because this is a direct injection. So it doesn't, it doesn't have any fuel injectors on it. It's just a pump here that directly puts the the fuel into the engine and uh this one is leaking i don't know if you guys can see that one but it's leaking out of out of the gasket in the back and uh we're gonna show you guys today how to replace this one and as far as parts goes we're gonna do the fuel pump and also along with that you got to replace the feed line which is this guy right there and uh, this is the part number for the feed line. And then this is the new fuel pump that we're gonna put in there. And this is the part number for that one. So we're gonna use all original GM parts. And uh, let's get this going here and show you guys how to swap this out. This one's not too bad, so you guys should be able to do this one by yourself. First, we want to take out the connector, so take this red clip here, and then take that connector out. And then we want to get the fuel pressure out of it. So what we want to do is, this is a 17 millimeter, get a wrench and put it around this nut here on the feed line, and crack that open. You'll have some fuel squirting out. And don't worry about that one because that one will evaporate. And you can see the fuel squirting out of that one. There's not much in there. And then uh, also loosen up the other end. That's over here under the intake. We'll take take that out, and then take this out on the top. And we'll just put this to the side right now. Leaking? Or you got a cold? Now take out this clip over here to get the other line out. This one pry in the back, pull that out. And put that to the side for now. And then you got your fuel line disconnect tool. You want to stick inside here. While you're pushing that in there, pull the line out. And this one is a 5 16s disconnect tool. You guys can get those at any parts store. pump out you got two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it in place so get your 10 millimeter socket with the with your ratchet and these when we take them out we want to take them out slowly one at a time a little on the left side a little on the right because that has a spring in the back of it and uh, if you take out just one side it's gonna pop that shot when you pull it out. So just uh, little by little, one side at a time. And then once you got those bolts loosened up a little bit, just pry back on there. I wanna get the, get the spring loosened up. Stick a 
screwdriver in the back of it to kind of get it loosened up. Wiggle and pull. Take these bolts all the way out, the ones we got it wiggling around. And just watch out when you pull it out because it'll have a spring tension in there. And it'll just pop out. your old one and that's your new one compare the two and make sure you guys got the same one and these look the same you put that to the side make sure you guys uh, your new one comes with a new gasket and before you guys put the new one in there just wipe this off make sure you clean up the uh, spot here so the no gasket seals on there properly. You don't want that leaking again. And then while you're at it, take your rag and clean up the inside too. installation part take your new plug take the plastics off of it and that's gonna go in the same way the other one came out so make sure you guys line up the holes for the bolts and start them out by hand that way we don't cross thread them Tighten them up, same thing like we took it out. We want to tighten one side at a time, little by little. 
keep switching over from side to side so that way that spring doesn't go in all crooked. What's up, buddy? Going back and forth, back and forth. And then get your ratchet. Tighten those, both those bolts up. You don't have to go too crazy with them. And then we'll hook up this line to the left. And this one's just gonna clip in there. So when, you, when it goes into place, you'll hear a click. And you just pull it back, make sure that it's in place. And then we'll put our lock back on it. That way it doesn't fall out of place. Here's our new line. And this one, compare it to the old one and see which way that it goes. And it looks like it's going to go that way. Start one of them off by hand, and then uh, start the other one by hand, and slowly tighten them up. And then once you got them finger tight, take your wrench and just give it a couple extra turns to make sure that's locked in a place so that we won't have any leaks. Now, last but not least, don't forget your connector. Plug that back into place. And then start it up and make sure you have no leaks. And that's the end of the story. So yeah, that's how uh, you guys got a Chevy Equinox. You need to replace the direct injection fuel pump on the engine. This is how you do it. Hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you for watching. Good luck.